what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are uh, feeling good. good. Today, guys, we're back here to me with our Zen and Beautiful Guest. Peace and make My name is Devon, and welcome to the first round. So, we're going to be reacting to Dave Campelli. Google the definition of feminist. Hmm. Uh, this is new. Uh, <laughs> it's already sounds that. funny. Yeah. Um, I can Google the definition of feminist, I think, once. Was when I heard the word feminist on it. Well, what's me that way? Yeah. I would love to hear Dave Tampere saying his own joke and uh, his own side view of him going the word feminist. You know how it gets? We'll talk about it right away. Let's get into this video. I Googled the dictionary definition of a feminist just to make sure I was talking about the right thing. And do you know, sir, what the dictionary definition of a feminist is? I didn't either. Listen to this. Webster's defines a feminist as a human being, not a woman, a human being that believes in equal rights for women. I was shocked that that's what that meant. Because by that definition, I would consider myself a feminist. And I didn't even know that at the time. <laughs> All these years, I thought it meant frumpy dyke. <laughs> well, that's who's always talking to be some chicken overalls. Men are trying to rape us. Ah, not you, bitch. We please. I know, look, listen, listen. I, I support the feminist movement, I do, in my own ways. When you guys did the Women's March, I tried to go and support you. And none of my friends would go with me. I asked all the friends, none of them wanted to go. I tried everything. Come on, y'all, it's gonna be bitches there. They was like, nope. <laughs> so what I did is I called my friend Ange. Ange is a black woman who's a comedy writer and she's dope, matter of fact, Matter of fact, she's the only woman that I know personally that pays her ex-husband alimony. And she sounds just like a man when she does it. Fuck that broke motherfucker and all that. She says all that shit. <laughs> so I hit Ange up. And I, I hit her on the text. And all I did, I texted her. I said, Ange, are you going to the Women's March? A and she texted me back. And this is a real text. She said... <laughs> She said, I hope those white bitches get tear gassed. <laughs> There's a problem in that feminist movement, isn't there? From its inception in America, there's always been a racial component. When Susan B. Anthony was having that meeting and Sojourner Truth's black ass showed up. Read your history books. All the white women asked Sojourner Truth not to speak. They didn't want to conflate the issues of women's rights and slavery. But you know how black bitches are. Sojourner Truth went up there anyway. It is what it is. She did a famous speech. She said, ain't I a woman? Ain't I a woman? That's right. And, and listen, listen, listen. I, I supported the Me Too movement, but, but the whole time, the whole time I thought that the way they handled that was stupid. <laughs> it was, it was white. It was like, <laughs> they were doing shit like going to the Golden Globes and, and all of them would be like, let's all go to the Golden Globes and wear black dresses to give these men a piece of our mind. Bitch, that is not gonna work. You think Martin Luther King's gonna be like, I want everybody to keep riding the bus, but wear matching outfits. <laughs> you gotta get off the bus and walk. It's real talk. 
Real talk, that was a silly movement. I want everybody to wear a crocheted pussy hat so they know we're serious. <laughs> what the fuck was y'all doing? <sighs> and then I said something about it in one of my specials, and all these women actresses came after me. I said, man, fuck y'all too. You canceled. I ain't jerking off to none of your pictures again. <laughs> they were like, who is he to tell us anything? I'll tell you exactly who I am. I'm the one that got off the bus and left the $50 bus. million dollars on the bus and walked. <laughs> I agreed with these women. I just didn't agree with what they were doing. About They're doing it. it. Right. Right. No, it was annoying as fuck. Because if these women were serious, you know what they would have done? They all would have fired their agents. And they would have went to the mailroom of one of these big agencies and found a woman that was busting her hump in there and said, if you want to talk to us, then you have to talk to her. And if they did that, and she would be big, and they would be big, and nobody would get fed to Harvey Weinstein. But did they do that? No. Was that their idea? No. Surprisingly, it was mine. <laughs> but I think the feminist movement needs to be very successful as a male leader. <laughs> I'll do it. I will. I will lead you women to the promised land. I will make sure you get equal pay for equal work. I will make sure that nobody harasses you or fucks with you on the job. I will protect all of your interests and all that I ask for in return. Is that you suck my dick? <laughs> and now we're right back to square one, aren't we? Yeah. And now we get to the core of the crisis. What, what is a woman? What is that in this day and time? Is there even such thing as a woman or a man or anything? Hmm, hmm, seems to be a question nowadays. Now listen, women get mad at me, gay people get mad at me, lesbians get mad at me, but I'm gonna tell you right now, and this is true, these transgenders, these niggas want me dead. <laughs> I've gone too far. I've said too much. <laughs> and I got to tell you, I'm very worried about it. I'm not even joking. Every time I come out on stage, I'd be scared. I'd be looking around the crowd, searching for Knuckles and Adam's apples to see where the threats might be coming from. <laughs> oh. A nigga came up to me on the street the other day. He said, careful, Dave, they after you. I said, what? <laughs> One day or many days? <laughs> Before I even say anything about that community, you must know, and I hope you all feel the same way, I am not indifferent to the suffering of someone else. There's laws, the mean laws. In our country, North Carolina passed a law once that said a person in North Carolina must use the restroom that corresponds with the gender they were assigned on their birth certificate. No, 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 no. No, that's not a good law. That's a mean law. No American should have to present a birth certificate Take a shit at Walmart in Greensboro, North Carolina, where the baby shot and killed a motherfucker. That's true. <laughs> you have to ask yourself, if you're thinking about it, who are these laws designed to protect? To protect. Like, let's say sure. they designed this law to protect me, my interests. Transphobic comedian Dave Chappelle. And let's say that I'm, uh, I'm in Walmart uh, doing a little shopping with my family. Now, I should tell you, if that ever happens in real life, you should know that my dreams didn't work out. 
But let's say something goes horribly wrong, and there I am in Walmart with the poor whites rummaging around for mediocre goods and services. And then I got to go to the restroom. So I excuse myself from my family. I go to the men's room. Now I'm standing at the urinal taking a leak. And, and, and this is what this law is going to do. And suddenly, a woman walks into the men's room. I'm going to be like, that's strange. <laughs> and then she stands shoulder to shoulder with me at the urinal. I'm going to be like, bitch, what's going on with you? <laughs> and then she hikes her skirt up and pulls a real live meaty dick out. <laughs> so what do you think I'm gonna say? What a shit! <laughs> Thank God she's in here with me. <laughs> At least now I know my family's safe. Mm -mm. No, I'm not gonna feel that way at all. I'm gonna feel very uncomfortable. I would feel better if it was a man with a vagina. Yeah. <laughs> Backed up to the urinal next to me. I'm serious. <laughs> I wouldn't even think about that. I'd just be like, hmm, that's funny. <laughs> this guy is peeing out of his butt for some reason. <laughs> oh my God, he must be a veteran. Thank you for your service. This was really hilarious. This was funny. Um, comedians like they they use what is really going on to make a joke out of. Uh, it's 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 really really beautiful. I always enjoy when comedians is really realistic. It's very hilarious and something that I also relate to. This right here is really really funny and something like ought to be taken serious because um, I don't really know what to come for me. It's transgender something. Um, it's kind of like skeptical in some way, how straight to the point it was. Um, it got me crack up throughout the entire joke. I enjoyed myself hearing him and I would love to watch more of his videos about this, um, such things again, like, it's really, really nice. What do you think? So it's interesting, like, every time everything you say from the feminism to the transgender story, so it's all interesting. I just feel... Um, people should just take uh, comedian jokes uh, as jokes. I know some of them really affect the life situation and it can be offensive, but still, um, they are just trying to make us laugh because of their own sense of humor. They expect people to find it funny, which I actually do find it funny, though, but it depends on um, who is listening to it and if they have any triggers there. But this was interesting. I love the way he was so blunt and um, he's funny. He's funny, actually. So it was a nice video and a wonderful show. Yes, comment down below what you think about Dave. Give us a thumbs up. Share the video with us. Many of us can still play China guys. You know how it is. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay. See ya. I just bought a bag. Like an old lady. I'm back. Wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all